We're gonna find something here, right, Jenny? Oh, let's look for yellow tags. Hi there, you are going to join me and my family as we go to a new to us Goodwill, which is located in Elkland, Pennsylvania. It's about a half hour drive north from Wellsboro. I was told about this Goodwill from uh, another shopper at the Wellsboro Goodwill. He had a black light stuck in his back pocket and it was turned on. And so I tapped him on the shoulder and I said, excuse me, your black light is on. He's like, oh, I was looking for uranium glass. Oh, wait, let's stop and look at this cute little bird. Oh, it's a cute little bird trinket. I love picking up these style of trinkets. So I knew already that this was a good goodwill but anyway back to my story he uh he said oh yeah i do a little circuit i go to the wellsboro goodwill and then we go to the mansfield goodwill and then we talked about how we can never find anything in mansfield and then he said oh and then i go to the one in elkland and jimmy and i were both like what there's one in elkland so this is the one look at this it's marked grammy and then the last name on the bottom of it and that is the main reason why i picked it up plus the price was right she does have a little mark on her nose but i did wash it off and it's not as noticeable. She's in excellent shape, and I mean, come on. It was your Grammys. I have to take it and rescue it. So this whole one side is full of knickknacks and then uh, plastic cups and things like that. And as you can see, the shelves were full, and you really had to get back in there and look. And then I found a schwan, a schwan with flowers. And I thought, oh, this is so pretty. It, there's a little chip on the flower, but overall it's in great shape. A little tippy on the flower, but it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. Holes in there. I'm trying to see what. Someone sold their plate. Sold their what? Their play pack collection. Oh. There's a whole bunch. Three, three. Oh, that's a big mason jar. I know somebody who would like that. She Ooh. likes jars. Ooh. There's three of these. Three of those in there. Mexico souvenir. She's a cute face. We were standing the same way. <laughs> Oops. Mushroom. Now you're both crossing your arms. <laughs> what are you related? <laughs> a cute little sunlight. There's so much stuff on these little shelves. Is this a musical? No. Why is it a purple? It's the old. Uh, well, it says January. It's amethyst. Oh, that's oh, cool. That is kind of neat. I thought the bird should be facing the other way, though. First stone birdies, February. I feel like the nest and the bird should face the other way. Well, maybe they're, yeah, I would, well, or put the February in the front. That's kind of neat, though. I've never seen that before. It's pretty just like that. Then mm -hmm. it doesn't scream, February. Mm -hmm. What else is in here? There's another birdie. Okay? This one looks like it so. does okay. something here. Baby Jesus. Oh, and an angel. All kinds of things in here. Oh, what's in this bag? Magnets and things. Some piggies. It's a long nose piggy. That's pretty. Oh, is it 
ketchup there on the top. The salt. This kind of looks like a whole Howard. No, I think it says Lego. Oh, that piggy's missing its ear. Oh, this is, uh, have we sold this before? This is the, um, Demonico or Garamico, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. Demodico. This is oh, Staffordshire, England. So this is making me nervous. Put that here. I'll get this one. Right there. Uh, got scattered all over. Yeah. Oh, I had these before. That was the uh, when I had the whole set of them. There's a whole bunch of uh, paint things. Paint your own ceramics. What's this? New fancy. I was really taken with this vanity mirror and I really liked how it had those rhinestones and the fake black and white. I just liked it for some reason, even though I know it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to ship it because it's just a giant mirror. But I am going to have a themed sale on Whatnot, and one of my viewers from last night's sale came up with the name of it, a vanity sale. And I have a whole bunch of vintage compacts and dresser sets and this vanity mirror would fit right in and plus it would be easier to show off to you what it looks like instead of trying to take pictures because I hate as you know if you're a follower of my channel I hate taking pictures of things that are reflective that you can see me that there's mirrors because you don't want to see the phone in the picture at least I don't you don't want to see the top of my head <laughs> me staring or, or um, uh, squinting at the, the camera so I that is why I'm going to save that piece for the sale on whatnot and it will probably be sometime next week it'll be an extra sale because I am trying to work my way up to two sales a week just because I enjoy whatnot so much I really enjoy the friends that I've made on the channel I like seeing the um, this poor little thing <laughs> He's missing an eyeball. I really enjoy seeing the names are popping up that I recognize now. And then I reckon I go into other sales and I see those same names. I thought that was ceramic, but it was plastic, unfortunately. 
Fiber craft made in Hong Kong. That's an old little base. It doesn't have a price tag on it though. Some buttons for $1.49. Oh, there's a pink and number tray. That's not completed. That's cool. There's two birds in there. And then in this other section of the store, they had more house, like more things for your kitchen and stuff like that. And I was really also taken with this canister. I liked how it had the impressed flowers. It probably is a hobbyist piece, most likely. And then, of course, I took an ornament. <laughs> Inor inordinate, 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 long amount of time uh, peeling that tape off there to see if the lid was chipped or anything. And it's uh, put it in the light box of truth and it passed the test. Unfortunately, the flowers on those candlesticks did not pass. I swear that light box of truth. It's a truth maker. It the candlesticks do have one of them has a repair, but it's a really good repair, so I'll let it slide. These were really cool. They had owls on them, but that one I think the first one I picked up was the only one that was in really really good shape. I had to really carefully don't worry nothing falls. Um, really carefully bring this other glass, and you could see how the gold had worn off, and that was make me nothing's gonna fall I promise then I found another one that looked kind of like a Dorothy Thorpe glass and then there was another one on top and look how much it had worn away up there then I saw these these were uh, these are Royal Sealy brand and it's the Capri and I have the only ones in the world because <laughs> I can't find any of them anywhere else and unfortunately when you got them in the light box of truth the truth set me free that there's damage these are already up for sale on ebay as a auction uh even with the damage these are from the 60s if i am right and not telling lies and i just thought they were really nice you could use them as a display even with the damage that they some of them have then look at this deviled egg plate have you ever seen anything this is the ultimate deviled egg plate that's like three dozen eggs there <laughs> no there's you don't have to replenish anything there you just set it up once and you're good for the whole afternoon now I'm going to take you for a walk around the store they had some new old stock like new things that kind of old stock you know what I mean here's the book section Jenny didn't find any books when she and Jimmy were here earlier they are now walking around the town we're um, I'm sparing you the noisy cart as we walk around the store there were people here I swear it looks like I rented the, the the store out for my own shopping pleasure excuse the traffic it is the holiday weekend so the motorcycles are out and my windows are open they had a whole bunch of puzzles here um, I do try to pick up puzzles from time to time when they are sealed and new in the box and then I always like to see for vintage, see for, look for. I try to look for vintage playing cards that have kind of a kitschy 60s, 70s theme. And they're so easy to photograph and list and ship off to you. So I didn't find any. They did have some things on top of the shelves, which is unusual. The ones, the Goodwills that I go to, they don't have them. It's so loud now. It's so loud, but I'm going to keep doing this voiceover. Look at this pot. It said parsley on it. Someone just turned on their outside their outside music. But I need to get this video out to you this, this, this evening before it gets too late. So we're going to keep talking. This is a uh, set of two pots. But they don't they look like uh, Port Marion? I thought they did. Now the reason why I'm doing the voiceover even with the noisy neighbors is because there was a lot of music playing. And it would only play when they weren't using the cash register. So I think the cash register and their overhead music were tied together. Almost as loud as the, the neighbor's music right now. Here is their little Christmas section. I didn't find anything. I was uh, did find these icicles. Those were pretty cool to look at. I was also hoping to find a silver tinsel tree because you never know. They might throw one in there. Uh, unfortunately, they did not. And, you know, it's not like you didn't do a good job. I did ask you to look for swung glass vases earlier. Can you hear that music? That's so silly. Um but I didn't find any swung glass vases. So that pot said dill, and then this one said basil. I thought it was a cute little set of crockery. 
is that crockery when it's when it's metal maybe not look at this this is from i'm gonna flip it over and show you merry christmas 1889 they, someone painted that. Now, no, I did not get it. Uh, there was just one, but I did carefully put it back because I know someone is going to come in after me who can cherish that and really love that plate. But I did admire its age and beauty. And this is going to wrap up our trip here to this Goodwill. And these are real life sounds of a waterfall area that Jimmy found that is close by Elkland. So we did, we went for a tiny little hike and here you go. If you are ever in the area, I highly recommend this Goodwill and then you could go see the waterfalls and if you drive a little bit further, you're almost in Corning, New York where you can see the Museum of Glass up there. I, that's on my plans this summer to take Jenny up there and film so you can come along with us. Here is everything else that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. I would like to thank you so much for all the happy birthday wishes you left on my last video. That was so very sweet of you. Between Jimmy and me, we read every single comment, and here, reading all those comments, it just warmed my heart. I really, really, truly appreciate you. I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, cheering me on, loving my family, enjoying our adventures. I just, I really, really appreciate you, and I want you to know that your, your messages did not go unnoticed. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see ya. Hurts from all your running and jumping, acting like a screwball.